Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of Cubase output not working. Cubase output not working on your system is can, can be caused by two problems. One, it could be that you are not assigning the right driver or your driver from your sound card is not properly installed. The another thing is possibly your output box. Your output channel is not certain. So I'm going to go right straight and show you how to set and assign your sound card rightly so that you can have your sound playing out. So first, the first thing you need to do is to go to your device setting. So in your device setting, we're going to go to your sound card. Then you go to VST audio system. In the VST audio system, here you can find the right driver for your sound card that can synchronize your sound card together where you can be hearing your sound. For example, I'm using here, I'm using Focusrite. And I ensure that after installing the Focusrite driver, definitely the Focusrite driver is going to appear on the on this Cubase list of ASIO drivers. So I, I'm also using the M Audio sound card. That is why the driver is appearing here. I also have the F, FS Studio installed in my system. I'm having the FS Studio as you. So here, these are actually your output driver that will synchronize with your system, depending on the sound card you are using. So if you uh, if you have any sound card installed to your system, you must the driver must appear here. If the driver didn't appear, then make sure you reinstall it again, restart your system, and ensure it appears. So if, for example, right now. I'm using FS Studio as your driver. That is what my computer is using, my sound source. I'm just going to click FS Studio and I will switch. I'm going to assign it. And you see it's already assigned and I will click O and I will click OK. So I'm going to play back my sound and you see the sound will start coming out. I'm going to unmute. So you can see the sound is coming out because I assigned the right driver. So I'm also going to demonstrate and and put another driver that is not the right sound driver. And that could be the challenges you are facing. I'm going to go to device. I'm going to put it on another driver right i'm going to assign and watch go to switch i'm going to click ok so i'm certain that you are not going to hear any sound because it's on on the wrong driver right so you see you can actually pick up that and realize that it's not on the right sound um, driver right so another challenge you may be having on not hearing the sound is your input and output settings so in this case I'm going to go to VST we're going to go we're going to go to vst so in this vst you see we have input and output here so i'm going to click the output bar sometimes after you have finished installing your cubase you're going to see a situation like this not connected sometimes you may come here you see not connected and this is your output and this will enable your sound to come out from the speaker so what you need to do after you have set the right driver insert the right driver then you're going to come here you click right click you put it output one which is your first speaker then output two that will come out on the second speaker which is your stereo so after setting this when you play your sound definitely you're going to hear it out from your speaker i'm going to demonstrate this right with the sound right driver just where i use fs studio as you i'm going to assign fs studio as you So I just assigned the FS Studio as you. I'm going to go back there, VST, the shortcut is F4. 
so i'm going to remove it from go to put it on not connected as default so i'm going to exit and play back my standard you're not going to hear anything so you notice it's playing but it's not coming out okay so that could be the case what you are experiencing right now so i'm going to go back and i'm going to go to vst4 and i'm going to go to the right one output one i'll click then i'm going to go output two i'm going to exit then i'm going to play right now for you to see So you can see it is playing so this could be the challenge you are facing so this can also affect maybe your recording as well so in your recording if you are not on the right sound input your recording may not be working so make sure you have the sound right driver assign it to the right sound driver as you can see if you have the right sound driver once you speak on your microphone you're going to be getting signal here which means it has started picking sound from your external device which is input input we call it input so with the help of fs studio as you on my system i am picking up sound from my microphone right so you can also experiment other driver depending the one that is working on your system so if i'm going to record right now i'm going to see if it's going to record right i'm going to click record Yeah, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So with the right sound driver, you can see it's recording. So I'm also going to demonstrate it for you. If it is not on the right sound driver, it's not going to record. So I'm going to put it on, let's say, focus right, which is which may be the wrong sound driver right i'm going to remove this i'm i'm, I'm going to click recording to see if it's going to record yeah 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 so guys as you can see is not recording right it's not recording because it's on the wrong driver right so so that is on when you assign the wrong driver is not going to record or is not going to pick up your sound too on your input and output so this can also be a problem when you don't have the right input settings so i'm going to put it back on asio driver go click ok so i'm going to check demonstrate in for the input so i'm going to go to vst connection 4 so when you go to VST Connection 4, for you to be able to pick up signal from your microphone, you're going to check your input. So sometimes, after you have installed your software, or maybe because of shutdown error, you could come here and find it is like this, not connected. So we are going to try not connected. You see, you're not going to receive any input signal. So on not connected, you see, nothing is working. can see the recording input is not working right all right so i'm going to delete so i'm going to go back to device vst i'm going to put it on input one input two so we're going to try it again you see it will be recording yeah 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 so guys you can see it is actually recording so i suppose this could be this video could be of help to you and make sure it solves your problem so make sure you go right there to the point and check first your vst connection and check your what 
your VST, your device connection to ensure that you have the right driver in place, or you go to your VST connection to check whether you have the right input and make sure you have the right, the right output. So in the input, make sure you click one and two. On the output, make sure it is assigned output one and also output two. Then I'm going to exit this. Then on your VST connection device setting, on your VST audio system, make sure you are on the right driver. Then if you have a sound card you have installed, make sure this driver of that particular sound appears. If it doesn't appear, try reinstalling it again. Restart your system. Hopefully it's going to appear. Once it appears, you simply do is to do what? You assign it. Just the way I'm using focus right, I'm going to assign to focus right. So once you assign it to focus right, there you your sound will begin to do what? To function. So guys, I hope this video helped you. Mm -hmm. So watch the video over and over again and try the same thing. I hope you get you you solve your sound problem. See you in the next video.